Today we swim in something weird. Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer. We're about to get waist deep in kiddie pools filled with who knows what. But first, today's episode is sponsored by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Yeah, we're in the thick of summer and as temperatures rise, HelloFresh knows that people are looking for more ways to avoid the oven. Mm. Yes, this year they're launching summer only, limited time recipes and specials where each dish is designed to maximize flavors of the season while minimizing oven use. And personally speaking, living in the oven that is Los Angeles, yeah. yes, it's hot. The McLaughlin family welcomes any reason to not have to use their own oven. Now, we also don't wanna break a sweat with stressful meal planning and prepping, and thankfully HelloFresh does that part for us, so mm -hmm. you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes, or even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. Also, HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients mean there's less wasted food. Although I don't know if that concept exists at Rhett's house. No, I'm a big man. HelloFresh has more five-star recipes than any other meal kit, so you know you'll get something delicious like this pork sausage and roasted bell pepper pasta. Oh yeah. Get a little bit of that, y'all. Mm. That's good. I mean, we should each have our own, but you know. It's nice. It's fine to have just <laughs> I'll one. I'll give you a bowl later. All right, go to HelloFresh.com and use code GMM14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. Again, go to HelloFresh.com and use code GMM14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Now, I love taking a dip in the pool, but I don't love when it takes a dip in me, because pool water can get into any orifice. You know what I'm talking about? You ever had swimmers here? No, I, I don't think I'm a good enough swimmer to get that. I don't think that's how it works. Well, as has become a sort of summer tradition around here, we're about to dive headfirst into stuff way worse than pool water. Guard your orifices, because it's time for, are you floating in car parts or swimming in something sticky? I've got an egg roll in the microwave, let's make this quickie. Okay, we're in our pools, but we're not swimming in anything yet. We got this curtain in between us, so I can't see what Rhett's gonna be swimming in. I can't, or I can't see Rhett at all. Rhett, are you there? Yeah, and I look good, how about you? I kinda look like a prisoner going for a swim. Our pools are about to be filled with something mysterious, which we will be swimming in, and we're gonna take turns asking each other yes or no questions to see if we can guess what the other person is swimming in. Yeah, the first person to guess the mysterious item correctly wins the round. We're gonna have four lifelines to choose from should we need help. They are praise it, chuck it, graze it, and buck it. Praise it means you get the other person to say something complimentary. Chuck it, you get the other person to chuck something on the floor, and you get an auditory clue. Graze it, you get the other person to lick the thing and describe the taste. Yum. Or bucket, you get a bucket of the item dumped over your head. Ooh, in the end, the winner gets to blow a golden whistle as he deflates the loser's ego in Good Mythical More. All right, Link. Since I swam laps around you last year, uh -huh. you get the first question. All right. I'm swimming in something right now, are you? Oh, I'm swimming so hard! All right, here's my question. Are you swimming in something that is man-made? Yes. Okay. Let me just warn you, this swim cap is so tight that I can't think. I'm thinking like half thoughts at this point. Are you it swimming in something turn. that is a toy? Nope. Are you swimming in something for kids? Uh, definitely kids would be into this, but it's not. A, it's definitely not exclusive to kids. Okay. Are you swimming in clothing? Yes. <laughs> are you swimming in something decorative? There are elements in my swimming experience that could be considered decorative, but these things represent what is the actual answer. You've got multiple types of things that all are one thing that I need to guess, and some of those things are decorative and other ones are the real thing? None of it is the real thing. Okay, so it's clothing. Um, are you swimming in a uniform of some type? No. Is it found outdoors? Now we've transitioned to talking about what these things represent. So everything I answer from this point will be about the thing that is being represented by the things that I am swimming in. Okay. This is no. Outdoors is not where this would be found. It could happen outdoors, but it's not contained outdoors, technically. It's a verb? No, it's not a verb. Link, I would like to use a lifeline. I would like you to praise your item. 
you know what? You are so good at accentuating my thighs. Okay. Does that, that counts as my round, I guess. I can't then ask a question. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is it associated with a particular environment? It's associated with a particular environment, but you'd have to dig pretty deep before you got to this environment. I don't know if we know have enough time for that. You're being vague as crap, man. Ha huh. ha. Really, huh? Vague as crap, you say? Ask me a question. Thighs? Are you swimming in some sort of shorts? Yes. Is this related to the bathroom? Yes. Okay. You swimming in Daisy Dukes? No. Ah, uh, crap. Okay. I only get one guess, right? Yeah. Um, are you swimming in toilet paper? No. Are you swimming in biker shorts? No. What kind of shorts would be funny? Are you swimming in crap? Swimming in crap? Like representations of crap. Yeah, but that's not going to do it, brother. I am swimming in representations of crap, but that is not an acceptable answer. You gotta get more specific. What? Are you swimming in, what kind of freaking shorts are there? Umbros? I mean, I don't know what, I don't know how, I don't understand where I go from here. You said what kind of shorts are funny and you just haven't exhausted the list. Okay, I know where I'm going next. You're swimming in fake crap, but I have to be more specific. Okay, Link, I'm gonna blow your mind. I am swimming in a representation of crap that is a representation of crap in a certain setting. <laughs> okay, well you gave me a hint, I'll give you a hint. I'm swimming in a specific type of shorts that is associated with amusement for others, but also is known for its rugged quality. Are you swimming in like, chaps that don't feature the back, but are shorts version of that? I know what you're going for here and no. Are you swimming in paintings of crap? <laughs> no. Okay, I guess if you know what it is, this seems like a really obvious thing. I do know what it is, I am swimming in it. Uh, are you swimming in see-through pants? I mean, these could be some of the most well-known shorts out there, man. And you're telling me that you're swimming in a representation the of The most well-known shorts? And you're telling me yeah. that you're swimming in a representation of crap that, that is a what? representation in a of crap in a particular, in a particular setting, setting that's but not, it's not a painting. Are you swimming in photos of real crap? You know what? I wish I could say yes to that, but uh, nope, I am not. Are you swimming in like leather hot pants? Wipe your brain of everything. Rugged leather is rugged. Give me a hint. This is the I'll most well-known short. If I don't get it, give me give me a hint. Okay, you have the ability to make this happen using a device that you have with you most of the time. Okay, so my phone. What does my phone have to do with crap? Are you talking about my phone? I can't tell you that, man. That's my that's my question. Is it related to my phone? Yes. Are you swimming in? Like those camping pants that you can take the bottoms off of and become shorts. Everything you're thinking is correct except your guess. So the answer is no. And I'm, I'm actually angry. <laughs> Wait, just switch places with me, friend. Are you angry? Yeah, I'm angry. I've been angry for a while. <laughs> well, give me a better hint. You're saying that you can make this with your phone, but it's crap. It's a representation of crap. What's something you do with your phone, Link? Text. Okay. Can I guess? Yes. Are you swimming in poop emojis? Pull the curtain back so I can see what freaking shorts you've got on. <laughs> George, you ever heard of them? I said Daisy Dukes like 10 minutes ago. Daisy Dukes are not jorts. Daisy yeah, they are. Dukes have your butt cheeks hanging out the bottom. The judges agree with Link on this one. Daisy Dukes are not jorts. Jorts are those. Well, jorts is an easy guess. Okay, I accept the L on this one. But you can tell he's still angry. Oh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I get the first question in this round, and just a, just a stipulation, if I say Daisy Dukes, I'm referring to jean shorts. Okay, all right, whatever. Are you swimming in a food? Yes. <laughs> Look at you, Rhett. Are you encouraged now? One for one, my friend. 
Are you swimming in something natural? Yes. <laughs> what? Yes. I said, okay. I said yes. And just to clarify, that means not man-made. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Okay. Okay, it's a food. So now I got the food pyramid in my mouth. I mean, in my head. Yeah, put it in your mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna start at the bottom. Is it a starch? <laughs> I'm going over the food pyramid. You gotta climb it. No. Okay. Not sure I know the next step of the food pyramid. We'll find out. Are you swimming in food? Hmm. Yes. Yes? Yes. Oh, see, you gave me the hinty hint you didn't even know yet. Are you swimming in a dairy product? No. Hmm. Are you swimming in... Is it a dish? As opposed to and just a singular ingredient. No. Are you swimming in a dish? No. Are you stealing my questions? Is that your question? No. Is the food you're swimming in for humans? Uh, yeah. Yeah, man. Okay. It's not a starch. It's not a dairy product, which would include, you know, milk, cheese. Um, is it a dessert? No. You know what? I'm going to use a lifeline. No. I'm going to use... Bucket. No, no. You don't like this idea? You don't have to do this. You gotta be quiet. This is my lifeline. Oh, God! I heard some glugging. <laughs> glug, 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 glug. <laughs> did you learn anything? Yeah, I think I did. Are you swimming in a spice? Yes. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What? Are you swimming in something that was living? Well, that's a question for the ages. <laughs> I don't know where you stand on the issue. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, it's it's very a... controversial. So give me your answer again? No. Dang, it sounded like something that was living. I would say it is organic, but living is too strong of a word. Okay, all right. Spice, huh? Ooh, there's a, there's a lot of spices. Now I gotta go to the spice pyramid. <laughs> well, you gotta start with the most common. Are you swimming in salt? I am. So that would be a yes. But that's not the full picture. <laughs> yes. My question to you is... Uh-huh. Crap, I feel like you're on the precipice. And I need to make a guess. Are you swimming in pickle juice? I <laughs> know. Are you swimming in salt? And pepper? Pull back the curve! Ah! Let me see what you're swimming in, Woo! man. I'm swimming in salt and pepper. You're swimming in eggs. Uh, to be specific, expired egg yolks. Ooh, the stinks! Yeah, my eyes have sealed shut. I don't know how great you look right now in your salt and pepper bath. Well, I'll have to describe myself to you. I'm swimming in salt and pepper. You won the round. <laughs> Hey, Rhett, you swimming in something? Yeah. Are you swimming in something? Yeah. Is the thing you're swimming in man-made? <laughs> yes. Okay. Are you swimming in a toy? No. Are you swimming in something I can use? Yeah, you can use it. What I mean is, whatever you're swimming in, I can use it to accomplish something. I'd love to see what you could accomplish with this. But you hey, dream big, man. But you so you interact with it. All right, how many questions are you gonna ask? All right, fine. Ask your question. Uh, are you swimming in something for kids? Yes, but um, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna have to leave it at that. But it's not a toy. Uh, does it move around a lot, or is as opposed to being stationary? I'm gonna answer the first half of your question. No. It doesn't move around a lot. No. Are you swimming in something that can be plugged in? No. Are you swimming in something that can be plugged in? No. Oh. Are you swimming in something that you would find in like a child's bedroom? Potentially, yes. But hopefully not, for the sake of the child. I'm gonna have to use a lifeline. Would you please chuck some of whatever you're swimming in? Okay. Just throw it on the ground, let me listen to it. Learn okay. anything? I think so. Ask away. I want to use a lifeline. I think there's only one left, so... It's to graze it, which means you graze it with your tongue and just tell me how it tastes.
Ah! It doesn't taste good. It doesn't actually taste. Oh, it's my guess? Is it made of plastic? Yes. Would right. a kid not want it in their bedroom because it would be scary? Yes. For most kids. All right, my question for you is, do I have experience with these? I mean, you tell me a lot of things. But you don't tell me everything. Is that a hint? <laughs> you have experience... Is this something intimate? I don't believe you've had intimate experience with this. But again, I am not with you 24-7. I don't want to judge you. No judgment. Are you giving me hints? or are you? Not just being... I mean, not any that would be helpful. <laughs> Okay, uh, I feel like you're all over this. Okay, are you swimming in clowns? Pull back the curtain! <laughs> <laughs> Ow! What is that? Mannequin, mannequin parts! Mannequin parts! <laughs> you know what? I mean, I didn't want to judge you. Oh, you said you've had experience with it. Well, I'm in here with clowns, man. You got it right. <laughs> and you win the golden freaking whistle. Oh, there it is. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Nadine. And I'm Caleb. And we're from Cincinnati, Ohio. It's currently celebrating our 10th wedding anniversary in Nassau, Bahamas. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Look at that water, it's so clear. Can you believe it, it's so clear. Thinking of us on their anniversary, Red. Yeah, y'all just have fun, don't think about us. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us test products that supposedly remove beach sand in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. To get the Mythical Society onesie, join Third Degree Quarterly or Annual by September 30th. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.